In today's video we will discuss the top 10 college football players who never won the Heisman Trophy. Please make sure you subscribe to the Top 10 Jaw-Dropping Facts channel. New episodes are released Monday through Friday. Number 10. Andrew Luck. Luck first became known to the world due to his amazing work as the quarterback for the Stanford Cardinal. In his sophomore, redshirt, year, he passed for 3,338 yards and 32 TDs with 453 yards rushing and 2 TDs. His redshirt junior year, Luck passed for 3,517 yards and 37 TDs with two rushing touchdowns to add to this. Luck led his team to a win in the 2011 Orange Bowl, but barely took a loss in the 2012 Fiesta Bowl. Luck was named to the first team All-Pac-12 and took home first team All-American honors twice. He also won the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year both years. During the 2011 season, he took home the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award, Maxwell Award, and the 2011 Walter Camp Player of the Year. Sadly, he finished second in the Heisman race in both 2010 and 2011. In 2010 he lost to Cam Newton. In 2011 he lost to Robert Griffin. Number 9. Peyton Manning. Manning is one of the greatest quarterbacks in history. However, it truly all began for him when he played for the University of Tennessee. He started for the team officially for three years, but played for four years with the Volunteers. His final two years are his most successful. As a junior, he threw for 3,287 and 20 TDs with three rushing TDs. As a senior, Manning threw for 3,819 yards and 36 TDs with three rushing TDs, Manning led his team to an SEC championship, but failed to win against Nebraska in the national title game in 1996. In 1997, Manning won several awards for his work. This included the Davy O'Brien Award, Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award, Maxwell Award, and 1997 SEC Player of the Year. Manning also took home All-American honors a few times. Sadly, the highest he finished in the Heisman race was second during his 1997 season. He lost to Charles Woodson that year. Number 8. Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a gifted player for the Stanford Cardinal when he played for them from 2014 to 2016. His later years were the most successful. In 2015, he rushed for 2019 yards and 8 TDs, with 645 receiving yards and 5 TDs. This includes kick return and punt return touchdowns. McCaffrey also had two passing touchdowns on the year. Stanford ultimately led the Pac-12 Conference Championship the same year. In 2016, he rushed for 1,603 yards and 13 TDs with 310 receiving yards and 3 TDs. Both seasons gave McCaffrey first-team All-Pac-12 honors twice. However, in 2015, McCaffrey saw consensus All-American honors along with being named the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year and AP Player of the Year. He also took home the 2015 Johnny Rogers Award, 2015 Paul Horning Award, and 2015 Jet Award. Sadly, the highest McCaffrey finished in the Heisman race both years was second in 2015. He lost to Derrick Henry that year. Number 7. Adrian Peterson. Peterson is one of the greatest running backs in history, and it is quite clear that all of this started with his freshman year at the University of Oklahoma. During this year, Peterson rushed for 1,925 yards and 15 TDs. His dominance on the field led to one of the highest finishes for a true freshman in Heisman history with a second-place finish. He followed it up with a sophomore year where he rushed for 1,104 yards and 14 TDs through an injury-plagued season. His junior year, Peterson rushed for 1,012 yards and 12 TDs, adding a receiving TD on top of it. Yet again doing so through injuries. Adrian would be named a unanimous All-American in 2004, but was named first-team All-Big 12 all three years he was at Oklahoma. Many believe Peterson deserved the 2004 Heisman, sadly, it was not to be. That year he lost to Matt Lienart. Number 6. Tommy Frazier. It is well known to college football fans that Frazier was a huge reason why Nebraska went to three national championship games in a row, winning two of them in 1994 and 1995. However, he was never given the credit he deserved by the Heisman committee. 
His best year was in 1995 as part of, what experts claim, is the greatest college football team in history. In 95, Frazier passed for 1,362 yards and 17 TDs while he rushed for 604 yards and 14 TDs. This led to consensus All-American honors and the 1995 Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. Frazier was named Orange Bowl MVP twice due to the national title wins that took place there. However, despite losing to Florida in the 1996 Fiesta Bowl for the national title, Frazier would be named MVP there as well. In 1996 he lost to Danny Warfel. Number 5. Hugh Green. Green was one of the most dominant college football defenders in history. He played for the University of Pittsburgh from 1977 to 1980, putting up big numbers each year. In 1977, he had 92 tackles, 15 for a loss, 12 sacks, 5 forced fumbles, 3 fumble recoveries, and 1 INT. In 1978, Green had 109 tackles, 12 for a loss, 13 sacks, 6 forced fumbles, 3 fumble recoveries, and 2 INTs. The 1979 season saw Green get 135 tackles, 14 for a loss, 11 sacks, 6 forced fumbles, 3 fumble recoveries, and 1 INT. Finally, in 1980, Green managed 123 tackles, 11 for a loss, 17 sacks, 7 forced fumbles, and 4 fumble recoveries. As you can see, Green was literally unstoppable. Green was named to the first team All Big East four times and took home consensus All-American honors three times, 1978, 1979, 1980. In 1980, he won the Maxwell Award, the Vince Lombardi Award, and the Walter Camp Player of the Year Award. However, his best Heisman finish was second in 1980. He lost that year to George Rogers. Number 4. A.J. McCarron. On the surface, people may look at McCarron's numbers and assume he shouldn't be a Heisman winner. However, he put up huge numbers for an Alabama Crimson Tide QB, and he was a true winner. The best thing McCarron did was also what he didn't do. He rarely made a turnover, giving the Tide wins based simply on perfection. As a sophomore, he threw for 2,634 yards and 16 TDs. As a junior, he'd throw for 2,933 yards and 30 TDs. Finally, as a senior, McCarron threw for 3,063 yards and 28 TDs. This resulted in two SEC championships, as well as two BCS national championships. He also contributed to a third national title earlier in his career. In 2013, he'd win the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award and the Maxwell Award. Sadly, he finished second in the Heisman race that year. That year he lost to famous Jameis Winston from Florida State. Number 3. Vince Young. The architect for one of the greatest national championship wins in history, the Texas Longhorns great known as Vince Young really deserved more respect. Young had two great years at Texas, 2004 and 2005. In 2004, he passed for 1,849 yards and 12 TDs with 1,079 yards and 14 TDs. In 2005, Young would destroy everything. He passed for 3,036 yards and 26 TDs with 1,050 rushing yards and 12 TDs. This 2005 season led to Young winning the Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year, Davey O'Brien Award, Manning Award, Maxwell Award, and he was consensus All-American. Sadly, he lost the Heisman race to Reggie Bush in 2005. This led to a Rose Bowl game with USC in Texas where the Trojans had two Heisman winners on offense. Young and the Longhorns would defeat them to become the 2005 BCS national champions. Young had 467 total offensive yards, scoring three rushing TDs, including the go-ahead game winner. Number 2. Melvin Gordon 3. Gordon Three was a tremendous running back for the Wisconsin Badgers from 2011 to 2014. He'd get the start his final two years with the team. In his junior year, he rushed for 1,609 yards and 12 TDs. Gordon then exploded his senior year, rushing for 2,587 yards and 29 TDs, along with 153 receiving yards and 3 TDs. Gordon also took part in back-to-back -back Big Ten championships in 2011 and 2012. However, 2014 was his year in which he was named first-team All-Big Ten and a unanimous All-American. He'd also win the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year Award and the Doak Walker Award. Sadly, he somehow finished second in the Heisman race. 
Gordon is clearly one of the best players who never won the Heisman Trophy. He lost that year to Marcus Mariota. Number 1. Deshaun Watson. The brilliant player who is Watson may be proving he's an amazing player with the Houston Texans, but we all knew from watching him play with the Clemson Tigers. Watson played for Clemson from 2014 to 2016 however, he started all of 2015 and 2016. In 2015, he put up solid numbers with 4,109 passing yards and 35 TDs with 1,105 rushing yards and 12 TDs. In 2016, he passed for 4,593 yards and 41 TDs with 629 rushing yards and 9 TDs. For his 2015 campaign, he'd win the ACC Player of the Year and Offensive Player of the Year, as well as be named a consensus All-American. For both seasons, he was named the ACC Athlete of the Year and won both the Davy O'Brien and Manning Awards twice. In 2016, he and the Tigers won in the College Football Playoff National Championship in heart-stopping fashion against the Alabama Crimson Tide as well. He lost that year to Lamar Jackson. I hope you enjoyed our top 15 college football players. Please leave a comment below for any player you think we missed or you think should have been placed on the list. Don't forget to subscribe to the Top 10 Jaw-Dropping Facts channel. And new episodes come out every Monday through Friday.